Hello folks, this is the Black Weasel and today um, I'll be talking about Inside Out. Inside Out is a, uh, another movie uh, released by Pixar and Disney Animations. I saw the movie yesterday at, at 9.40 p.m. Now, instead of talking animals um, and talking toys and talking monsters apparently, Pixar goes uh, into the emotions of people. And emotions are getting divided into five uh, uh, enigmas of uh, pe regular people as well. We have angry, we have joy, we have sadness, we have fear, and we have disgust. These folks take place uh, in the mind of a girl named Riley Anderson, who is 11 years old and from Minnesota. The family moves out towards San Francisco as part of uh, the dad's um, investment venture b business plan. But some things uh, come up along the way, which tra sh and which tra which end up distorting Riley's emotions about how like what about what's happening. For starters, San Francisco has a pizza shop that show that shows only one pizza. Uh, the uh, the house takes place in a small uh, house because like since California is really big, but there's a, like still a, a, a large amount of people, and then it's really hard uh, to get a good house since it's all of already expensive. They don't have all the stuff yet because the moving truck is uh, being a potato and not uh, give, uh, being <sighs> returning to an uncertain date. Anything else, anything else, anything else? Oh. So yeah, uh, sadness becomes like a, a real major problem which was which is a blue girl. If something bad happens, uh, she has like a, a, like a area effect uh, which uh, th makes things worse as it really is, and that takes uh, that uh, brings out an outside effect on the parents as they you know, feel bad for putting the rally in the f out in the first place. But still, at the same time, uh, it's a good uh, film by Pixar. There's no music uh, uh, songs since it's not a musical, and and includes a short film named Lava. Was pretty, which is pretty nice. After that, um, uh, eventually something bad happens and Joy and Sadness gets sucked um, into an outside of her quarters into part of the the damn. You know I should probably like do these like after I've seen the movie. Not freaking like a day later, so now my memories are jacked up. <sighs> Anyways, they made that a lot of a lot of interesting characters. They meet meet uh, Riley's imagination uh, friend, you know, who is an elephant slash a raccoon slash dolphin, and he's kind of goofy as well. Anyways, we we explore inside the mind of a regular eleven year old girl. So so we have some uh, goofy uh, times. And it's, it's pretty humorous from time to time, but it gets a little bit uh, frustrating because uh, some of the things uh, could have been avoided. So for starters, Sandman was really, really uh, bogus as hell. Uh, uh, because her, all of her acting, all of that what she does was really end up being becoming bad for Joy. And it's, hard, it's kind of hard for her as the movie goes on to hold her uh, composure. So yeah. Anyways, I'll give this movie a nine out of ten for being a regular Pixar uh, film. It still delivers a little bit of uh, funny laughs and uh, Loki uh, slapstick humor, which I really like slapstick humor. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else I want to talk about? Um. Anything else? Anything else? Um, so, so yeah. The moral of the story is that it's all in your in your head, especially with uh, sadness, disgust, 
which can also have an outside effect. Alright, that's it for me. Thank you guys and have a good day. Bye.